Right. Oh my god, it's really quiet. Huh? It's so quiet. <laughs> I know because it's us. <laughs> it's really alarmingly quiet. I'm going to get that sound box to create a sense of ambience. You want me to like? Yeah. Is that better? Maybe a disco ball and a bubble machine and a sound. Hey, maybe, box. Do you want me to play some music in the background? Yeah. Yeah, some disco. Yeah. <laughs> right. Are we? Is this happening now? It's real. This is. It says live. Oh. On YouTube. This is. <laughs> this is it. It's start, I, it's, know, I, I think it actually has started. I think people are actually watching this. Whatever this is. Oh shit! It's like total yeah. recall. It's like a total recall gig. It, it, it's it's weird, isn't it? I I'm I've I've just already forgotten that. We, we don't hear or see anyone. Okay, fine. Right, we're here. Okay, great. Everyone's watching you now, says Sarah. Okay. <laughs> if you're <laughs> it's happening, you're on YouTube. Stop okay. being penis. Okay. Welcome, great. welcome, people, to the quiz. Yes, this is access. the Bike Project really fun quiz. And uh, Kerry and I are going to um, read out the questions, and uh, then you will have the answers. And then I don't know. I don't really. I can't remember what 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 happens if there are prizes, but I think there are prizes, but not for winning the quiz. So that's weird, isn't it? But there will be prizes. Really? Coming yeah, up. No, no, I don't they get I, nothing for winning the quiz. No, but just that sense of satisfaction and participation. Also, when do we read out the answers? <laughs> not now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's sesame oil in the cupboard. I'm just in the cupboard with all the. I animals. mean. If this was a hi Chloe, if this was hi, a real, hi. if this was like, I mean, I what? Not now. Uh, <laughs> what have you done to his eye? Nothing. He was a pirate. Okay, uh, we have to. Mean, this is chaos, isn't it? Right, come um, on. Because my right, daughter I, wants to host one of the rounds with me after the break. Okay, so, so the one with the child involved first. So you you create that atmosphere. Not me. Right. Okay. So this is the top secret. Oh no! Right. This is round one. This is the general knowledge. So um, shall I start? We can alternate. Off? Yeah. Question number one, ladies and gentlemen. In which children's book did a spider called Charlotte and a pig called Wilbur appear? And you can get an extra point if you know who wrote it. So, what was the name of the children's book? Uh, where there was a spider called Charlotte and a pig called Wilbur. Come on, we all know that. An emotional book for me. Very emotional. It was one of the first books I read as a child where I wept. Wept like a baby. Yeah. Yeah, then I thought, right, I'm going to read it to my child now. Wept again while my child just blinked at me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm really like, good when you, when you really think you're going to bond and connect by doing something quite empathic and emotive and they're just like, I feel nothing. It's just yeah, you crying. Yeah. You crying, Mum. Right. Well, should we move on? Question two. Yeah, otherwise we're going to be here till midnight. Okay. Sun Crisp, Golden Russet and Braeburn are all varieties of which fruit? I really hope people know that. I mean, if you don't know that, that's a bit embarrassing for yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say that's these for. Do you know what? To be two, fair, do, doing this, to you easy. can Google it. I can't see. You can. You can. No, cheat. don't say that. But you could. I mean, no, 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 point, isn't it? No, but there is no point. To, I mean, like, not that there is no. Point. No, once you start going down that K hole, it's over, isn't it? Don't be like, there's no point to anything. No, I'm just saying. You could Google it. No good comes from that, Jen. No good comes from the what's the point in anything. There's a structure. And just, we've got this is if people start googling the answers, there's fuck all point to this. So, well, I mean, that's what I was going to say. Don't, well, don't, don't, say, don't, it, don't say it. You're the ambassador of the charity, so don't say it. I'm not. Well, I'm not, but I am here on behalf of right, the charity. So I am, by the way, you're representing the charity tonight as well. So yeah, I know, but I'm not encouraging yeah, people yeah. to cheat. You, you're the person that on question two, round one, started talking about cheating. Yeah, but in a way to say you could. But why would you do that? <laughs> Would you do that? You're sabotaging the quiz that you're hosting. Because I'm 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 in a cupboard talking into my laptop and I'm having a slight breakdown. I'm filling the gaps in. All right. Question three. 
because some people have switched their question three off. keep it inside the logo for which popular app consists of a white telephone <laughs> in a white speech bubble on a green background so I, i'll read that again because that was quite a lot to take in wasn't it? there's a lot of information there the logo for which popular app on your phone consists of a white telephone in a white speech bubble on a green background got a lot of activity on that platform at the moment yeah i've got about 75 of those on the go at the moment obviously I'm... so show me the face you pull when you put a message to one person on one whatsapp whatsapp group and they don't respond and then they seem active they seem really active in another whatsapp group and you're like but you haven't answered my query in that yeah. WhatsApp group let's see that face that's <laughs> a good face yeah. really good angry whatsapp rage face that that blue tick thing that it's hard isn't it because you know you're like well you've read it you've so read it. why and now it seems that you're talking on another whatsapp group I don't... So really got oh. your digits out got your digits yeah. out <laughs> PTA group. Yeah, you're all about that, aren't you? Yeah, all about that. Anyway, that's what's up. OK, so I don't know what I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of you being here? There was you. You and just told me. Yes, in that before I Google it. OK, we, just start it out. Move three. on. Move on. My question's really good. We won't quote. Oh, well. my God. This OK, lemurs. Forget forget social media lemurs are an animal native to which african island this is question four round one lemurs are native to which african island i don't know if you need a, 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 a clue but there is a very popular children's animation named after this island it's the largest island in the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over to you, Jen, question five. Question five, which is the only letter in Scrabble to have a value of five points? My favourite letter. Yeah, because... Don't, don't, <laughs> don't say, don't say. Can I just say, right, I've had quite a few games of Scrabble this lockdown. Yeah. Totally smashed it. Who are you ben playing? Are you playing your nine-year-old son? No, but playing Ben. And I might get and, a winner. And I'm thinking of getting winner tattooed across the <laughs> You'd have to do it over two hands, wouldn't you? Work it yeah. in the, unless you spell it like W-A-R. -E and then make it, yeah. while he's asleep, tattoo loser across his top. <laughs> anyway, I'm not you, you know what you need to get onto? You've got to get onto words with friends. What's that? Words with friends? What's that? Yeah, it's an app on your phone where you can play Scrabble remotely. Oh my God. Is it Scrabble? Oh my Scrabble. God. Yes, you please. want to get involved with that. I'm totally on board with that. Love Scrabble. Right. Question six. In which... No, hang on, let's start again. In which century was William Shakespeare born? If you have the exact year, you will get a bonus point, but we're really only asking for the century here. But should you have that knowledge, extra point for you okay well you well you just have to get the century that's like a whole hundred year sort of ballpark yeah but you know it's actually quite confusing because people think they know what century but they say the century however it says in brackets they'll accept the blah blah hundreds so you don't even have to get the century bit right you just got to get the blah blah hundreds either way you've got hundred year radius to play with yeah bloody hell right in which sport, question seven, in which sport could you win the Davis Cup? Oh, come on. Come on. I wouldn't have no, got that one. No, I wouldn't have got that. I'd have got the previous one, but I wouldn't have got that. You wouldn't have got the, you wouldn't have got yeah. the Davis couldn't, Cup? Couldn't give, a, couldn't give a shit about sport. Couldn't give a shit. But I don't give a shit. I don't ever know what to do with my face when people talk about sport. Peripherally, you pick this information up, though, don't you? You talk to me about sport, I'll do my face. So anyway, I was—I uh, don't know how you feel about the fact that Brighton might uh, be not <laughs> might not remain in the Premier. That's my sport face. Yeah, to be fair, that's my sport face. Question eight. Question eight. Is that me? Yes. 
Oh, is it? Okay. Which artist created Lobster Telephone in 1936? Which artist? Oh, Jen! What? I'm, listen, what I'm just you doing. Don't patronise. You're patronising me. I'm not patronising. I'm really just patronising. Honestly, Kerry, I don't feel a sense of achievement. There is a sense of achievement. A lot of people wouldn't have got that reference. Oh, for crying out loud! You you got that reference because you're so really. Oh, you told answer. people to Google the answers, and now you're doing visual clues. Can I remind you that question three? You actually said the answer out loud before you start going on. Before you start going. Right, question right. nine. Question nine. Emerald is the traditional birthstone associated with which month of the year? I mean, how you would know this? I do not know. No, I, I mean, wouldn't have I wouldn't know this. There's no way in God's green earth I'd hear this. No. Is that your child screaming? Yeah. There will be screaming. It's bedtime. So there will be screaming. You just have to pretend you can't hear that. <laughs> You'll hear Chloe going, ah, ah, without ah, small ah, children. Ah, ah, ah. Huh? The screaming with small children is you're like, hark, is that pleasure or trauma? Yeah, or is that <laughs> agony? All yeah, I know how is do you know it's difference? not my problem tonight. No. 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 You're working. Uh, what oh question 10 what was daniel craig's first james bond film okay and i think we'll give you a trivia huh you don't like james bond do you never seen a james bond film. never seen a james bond film never yeah, seen one. i find that astounding actually because they were yeah, literally repeated by... on a loop for our entire childhood yeah and when they come on i leave the room never seen one all the way through proud of that wow I might have been missing out on some really good films, but I just, I think I'm going to see it through now, right through. Not even Octopussy? Nope, couldn't give a fuck. Um, a View to a Kill? The thing is, this is a futile conversation with you, because I know you do, don't give a toss, but what's fun about it is when people, when, when you meet people that love them, then you get your good times. Yeah, people are angry about that. Yeah, Have you ever seen Bond? Why, why haven't you indulged in 16 hours of pure misogyny? Huh? <laughs> why? <laughs> they're, they're, um, they're, that's what I do it for, Jen. I don't do it for these chit chat. I do it for those people. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sarah, can I just quickly clarify before we go any further? Do we do the answers now? Or we go straight into round two. I know you said that it was all in the brief. I didn't read the brief. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, God. round two but if you want to do answers now go for it i would ask i would ask people out there do you want us to go for it but i've got no we can't hear you so should we do should we do answers <laughs> should we do answers let's keep it because then you'll feel a sense of achievement won't you we go right round one we got three out of ten that's not bad yeah and that'll give them less time to google it right so we're, we're doing answers okay the answer to question number one uh, in which children's book did a spider called charlotte and a pickled wilbur appear it is charlotte's web and you get an extra point if you know the author who was E.B. White. Do you know what E.B. stands for? Uh, Enid Blyton White. No, it wasn't Enid Blyton. Uh, uh, Edgar, Edgar Brown White. You just made Ethel, that up. Ethel Bernadette White. You can't just make shit up. Errol Banana White. No, it wasn't. No? None of those? Okay. I was just curious if you know, but no, I don't know. Okay, Sun Chris Apple. No, oh, they're apples. <laughs> Sun Chris, Sun Chris, Golden Russet, and Brayburn are apples. Okay, I'm not um, what going to. I'm not even three. What you do it? What could what, it be? What, what could it be? To number three be? Is it Shazam? <laughs> <laughs> Is it MySpace <laughs> logo for which? The logo for which popular app consists of a white telephone in a white speech bubble on a green background, a uh, Kerry. WhatsApp. Can we also say to people um, that are watching this and involved in this quiz thing, if you wouldn't mind, would you mind sharing your scores per round? That would be great on the chat thing. And then we can know who's doing what and we can talk about good. it. Because otherwise we're just, this is what, I don't know what this I is. I mean, we might as well dig a hole in the garden and shout down a hole. I mean, I might as well have a bin and just <laughs> shout into it, yeah. In fact, I have got a bin. <laughs> what? On the score? <laughs> I need, yeah, we need some validation in the form. I need some feedback <laughs> here. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, question four answer. Lemurs are an animal native to which African island? The answer is Madagascar. And question number five. Which is the only letter in Scrabble to have a value of five po pie points? It is K. K for Kerry. K for Kerry, K for K-hole. Picking K. Picking K. Um, you do not want to do a K hole joke at the school gates. Let me tell you that as a, a parent. I, I can totally imagine that you that you oh started my God. That, like, Put it now, standing there with Easter Island faces looking back at me <laughs> as I tell them, oh, oh, I feel like I'm down a K hole. What's a K hole? Uh, a ketamine hole, isn't it? Oh shit. Okay, question oh, six. Sorry, yeah, sorry, go on. <laughs> go on, question six, answer. In which century was William Shakespeare born? It was the 16th century. Okay, so, or we would accept the 1500s, or if you can get an actual extra bonus bonus point if you knew the exact year, which was 1564. So there was the potential to get two points for question six. And if you got two points, wow, we are impressed. Aren't we, Kerry? I'd be really impressed if you knew Very. the exact year. That is good. Um, uh, question seven, in which sport could you win the Davis Cup? Tennis, it's tennis. It's tennis, everyone I, knows where that. Where is that tournament hold then? Uh, it's held in different where? countries, I yeah, think. Yeah, no, different Tens country, but you're gonna yeah. have to be more specific, Jen. Oh, do you want here? Oh, no, the country. America. Well, now you're just, you're just Trump, making up country. Germany, you don't have a fucking Australia, country. I don't. I think it's an American thing. The Davis Cup is Brit in Britain, it's Europe versus, no, that's golf. Oh, I don't know what it is. Never heard of it. Okay. Go on then, tell them your um your visual clue answer that you- Which might... artist created Lobster Telephone in 1936? Ah, what was it, Kerry? You're like, it's Salvador Dali. You're like a sort of <laughs> primary school teacher. No, you're <laughs> like a supply teacher in a secondary school going, hey guys, we're gonna learn about art. Yeah. But the difference is, is that the kids love me and you'll be crying by the end of the class. OK, that's the difference. <laughs> OK, uh, Emerald is the traditional birthstone associated with which month of the year? Never would have got this. The it's May. May. It's May. But actually, I just remembered that I'm born in February and I do know what my birthstone is. It's Amethyst. Oh, hang on. I'm born in November and I thought, oh, no, mine's, oh, mine's orange and yellow. What's the orangey yellow stone? I don't know, is it Bomet? I don't know. No, it's got a proper name. Um, is it? Yes, you Am are Amethyst, because my daughter's February as well, and she's Amethyst. Topaz for November, Sarah says. Topaz? Topaz? I, I thought don't... it was orangey, I thought it was orangey, yellowy, amber, but amber. No, it's not. Okay, good. It's all Question... a load of shit, so. Yes, um... it's all a load of bollocks anyway. Question 10, that's your question, is it? Right. Uh, what was Daniel Craig's first James Bond film? The answer is Casino Royale, 2006. It's a remake. There was another Casino Royale with, um, oh my God, it's gone from my yes. brain. Good chat. Peter Sellers, okay. Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers was in the original Casino Royale. Right. I actually watched that one with Daniel Craig. It wasn't, it was all right. Yeah, but I'm still no. not going to break my rule. No, okay, fine, sure, okay. So we're on to quit. We're on round two, everybody. Round two. This is the quiz master's choice. That's me. You curated this, didn't you? I did. I curated this by googling comedy quiz questions <laughs> and just <laughs> nicking those. Okay, that's basically all. Yet again, you seem to be encouraging people to cheat. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not encouraging them to cheat. I'm just saying that if you, you did, just, you just revealed how easy it would be. Literally, be, be able to find all of these on Google. Yeah. Anyway, literally answered. Kerry, why don't you? <laughs> just don't. You're undermining your own curation. Right. Question one: Who played the role of Uncle Albert? Do you want me to do an impression? Yeah. Will you be? Will you what? <laughs> uh, who played the role of Uncle Albert in Only Falls, Only Falls and Horses? I'm going to sing the theme tune. I stick a pony in your pocket. I'll get the suitcase. <laughs> but if you want the best ones and you don't ask questions, <laughs> brother, I'm mad. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's really good. It's, it's, in fact, you know what? You ought to TikTok that. <laughs> yes. 
Bisa orang apa ni? You could dress up as Uncle Albert and get right into it. I should TikTok that. Right, who played out Uncle Albert in Only Fools and Horses? Right, that was question one. Question two, Father Ted originally aired on which terrestrial television channel? That seems an antiquated word. Go on, go on, go on. That's an antiquated word now, isn't it? Terrestrial. Well, I mean, there was a time where we just, that was it, wasn't it? We were like, that's these channels and we we didn't want for more. We didn't expect more. We didn't need more. That but you it. didn't, you, if now a thing is on, you don't go, oh, is it on a terrestrial channel? <laughs> <laughs> no one uses that language now. Only people I'm like, oh my God, my glass one looks massive in there. You look like you're, you look like Father Jack on Father Ted. <laughs> right, you can, uh, 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 I love my wine. <laughs> I love my wine. <laughs> I love my wine. I really do. I mean, that is a lot of wine in there. <laughs> it's a lot of wine. Right. Question three. What is the name of the school which is attended by Simon, Will, Jay and Neil in the in-betweeners? Um, Jen, should I let my 13-year-old daughter watch the in-betweeners? Yeah, totally. Isn't it rude? Is it swearsy? Isn't it There's sex- what? No, there's one sexy. No, there's one where they do the. Um, they have a fashion show, and you see a bollock. Oh, okay. We can live with the bollock. And if anything, that'd put her off for ages. It'd be like, oh, I don't want to see that again for another. Five <laughs> I have a feeling she's seen a bollock, not live, but like on on telly. She's seen Sex Education, so I reckon she can handle. Right, okay. It. Yeah, I don't think there's. She, I don't think there's anything on there that's going to shock you. Okay, fair dues, frankly. Right, question four. Where is the office set? Where is the office? The office set. Could have could have had a could have had a afterlife question in there, but we swerved it. Yeah. There aren't any afterlife questions in here. No, no, there aren't. I there was then like literally almost every quiz was like about 45 questions about Ricky Gervais, and I was like, I'll just pick one. In fact, I think there's another one in there somewhere. Related but to if they won't be as up, like they won't be as up to date as an afterlife one, will they? No, but I, um, as I haven't watched it, I don't like to put anything in there that I don't know anything about. So you've seen all these other shows? Yeah, haven't you? Well, well I mean, they're not all about shows, are they? Well, we'll assess it at the end. We'll assess it at the end about all the things we're familiar with. Um, what year? Did the sitcom The Royal Family first air on BBC Two? Kerry, I think you should do a, a, a thingy, a multiple choice, because that's, I mean, no, no one's going to get that. What? So do a suggestion. Oh, so around that... that... You don't need to do mimes and, and approximations. People will get that. I don't think you they will. follow your advice and Google the fucking answer. <laughs> if you give a multiple choice, then then people will be like... they'll. All right, what up. year did the sitcom family... First air on BBC Two, 1812, 1979, or 1998. You are literally crap at this. Because what you would have done is gone 1996, 1997. I know how it works. I wish I had a glass as big as you with wine. That's I'm not stupid. I knew. Mine's finished. Right. Um, right. Well, that one's that was that was another WhatsApp question down the toilet. <laughs> right. Which stand-up comedian ran forty-three marathons in fifty-two days in two thousand and nine in order to raise money for sport relief? That's a, that's an easy one. We all know that. Which have you have you run a marathon? Kerry? Absolutely not. But Would I'm you... not shutting it down. You're not. I, oh. I I think it's always best to sort of think in your head you might one day run a marathon. Why? Why? Because, like it, best. because there's it's that whole potential. It's about potential, isn't it? It's about like if I if I shut that down, I think that it will open what? up disappointment and sadness for everyone involved. So if there's a bit of me that just thinks one day I might one, run a marathon. I'll run until my toenails fall off. Well, you know Zoe has run about three in lockdown. I know. So, I know. so, so I find that watching. inspirational. Zoe Lyons, the comedian, is mm. a mutual friend of ours, and has been running a marathon a week 
for wow. the last three weeks. And she started with an ultra marathon running uh, across the downs, up and down the downs. And uh, now I'm, I'm refused to talk to her anymore. So <laughs> I have literally, people that are achieving things in lockdown can do one because I'm not having it. You're making <laughs> sourdough. <laughs> She's running ultra marathons. I'm hiding in the toilet. Like ultra marathon. I thought a marathon is what it is. It's a designated quantity of miles. It, it is. A marathon is 26 and a half miles, but anything above 26 and a half miles is an ultra marathon. And uh, Zoe ran 27 and a half miles. What a surplus total. I mean, what a wanker. And I'll say that to her face. And I'd say that to her face. Zoe Lyons, you, my love, are a you wanker. Total wanker. What a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> right. Question seven. Oh, no, you've done that. No, well, no you haven't. haven't. Question seven. Which member of the Monty Python team was born first? So which of the Monty Python team was born first? Bradley men, can you name all of the members of the Monty Python? Can you name them all? Mm, Michael Palin, Eric Idle, John Cleese. Is Terry Gilliam one of them? Um, the one that played Brian. Isn't that Terry Gilliam? No. Terry Gilliam's the one that directed The Fisher King. Oh, and um, that one about De Delicatessen. Did he direct that? No, I've made that up. That's a French film. Ignore me. No, no the one with John, John, Jonathan Price with the wings. Brazil, Brazil. Yeah, that's Brazil. Terry Gilliam. That's it, Brazil. I can't remember the name of the one that played Brian in the life of Brian. That's the one I can't remember. Uh, Graham. Good. Gardner. Green. Gra Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Does well, anybody you've just know? given away that's not the answer to this. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter. It's not the answer to this anyway. So uh, next question. Question eight. Uh, what was the name of the Kenny Everett character famous for the catchphrase, it's all done in the best possible taste? I used to love Kenny Everett. I loved that. And the legs would come over, like the <laughs> ten legs. Oh, God. And the best possible taste. What was that film with Sharon Stone when you just, when she crossed her legs and you just got a tiny bit of milk? Oh, um, Basic Instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, Everett, Kenny Everett was doing yeah. that long before. <laughs> The legs would come out, wouldn't they? They'd come out like that. Let me go over. Let me come out again. It's just Kenny Everett. Literally, was the funny. That was the funniest show. I mean, absolutely disappointing that he was a Tory, but it was. He was hilarious. Yeah, he was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Anyway. Question nine. In Shaun of the Dead, what was the name of the pub? And there is a multiple choice. A. The. Uh, a, the Armalite. B, the Carab Carabiner. The Carabiner, yeah. yeah. Carabiner. C, the Enfield. Or D, the Remington. No. What? Oh, yeah, D, the Remington, yeah. yeah. And then and then E. Oh, yeah, E. It's in a different font. E, the Winchester. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Oh, this is the problem with multiple make, choice. Make sure you include the last one, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Jane, right. question 10. Question 10. What is the name of the character Kerry Godman played in Derek? Two Ricky questions in there. Two yeah. Ricky Gervais related questions. I know, there are two Ricky ones actually in the end. So what is the name of the character Kerry played in Derek? There we go. We're going to give you oh, a couple of seconds. Yeah, a, little Derek, a little Derek bit of merch. One of the crew knitted that. That's my character in Derek, in my little tabard. Jesus Christ, that's the, that's she, the stuff of nightmares, isn't it? That looks like a voodoo she doll. Gave, she gave. Whoa, not too close. She gave... Uh, all the actors a little knitted version of themselves. And this okay. is 
and I won't say the name of the character because that will give the answer away and I wouldn't want to do that again. <laughs> Not again, <laughs> Kerry. Not again. Apparently, Jennifer got 10 out of 10 for round one. Well done, Jennifer. Oh, wow. That's impressive, because I was not, I mean, to be fair, two of them, we told you the answer, but um, well done. Can you, can we repeat question eight? Yes, we can. What was the name of the Kenny Everett character famous for the catchphrase, it's all done in the best possible taste? We did do an impression for you. We'll do it again. It's all done in the best possible taste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, know, I don't think that is helping. So that, that was round two. Should we do the answers, Kerry? Yeah, let's do the answers. Okay, great. So, so who did, do we alternate with what, who? Yeah, yeah, you, you start. Okay, who played the role of Uncle Albert in Only Fools and Horses? The answer is Buster Merrifield. Ooh, oh, Rodney. Oh, oh we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, Love old Buster Merrifield. Oh, boy. Um, question number two, Father Ted originally aired on which terrestrial television channel? The terrestrial television channel was channel four. There we go. Uh, what is the name of the school that's attended by Simon, Will, Jay and Neil in the in-between betweeners? And the answer is Rudge Park Comprehensive. Well, the light's really going here, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I know, I know how to fix that. I know how to fix that, don't worry. So I've got all the technology here at my fingertips. There we go. Hmm, that made a huge difference, Jen. Yeah, look, look at that. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> it's not sinister, is it? Um, where is the office set, Kerry? It's set in Slough. Slough, that was the answer to question number four. I actually genuinely am gonna use my phone to light my face. That's what we're doing here. Uh, question five, what year did the sitcom The Royal Family first air on BBC Two? It was 1812, wasn't it? <laughs> it was 1998. <laughs> well done, if you got I mean, that one. Who, and who would have got that one correct when the other option? If you hadn't told me to do a multiple choice, then people would have I, got it. Well, do you know what, Kerry? After doing stand-up for about 20 years, I assumed you could, you know, think on your feet and improvise, but clearly I was wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Don't freeze on me now, Kerry Godleyman. Audiences know more than you give them credit for. My experience is that that isn't true. Okay. Which stand-up comedian ran 43 marathons in 52 days in 2009 in order to raise money for sport relief? Bernard it was Manning! Yeah, it was Bernard Manning. So if you didn't get that right... Huh? Huh? <laughs> It was Eddie Izzard. It was Eddie Izzard, wasn't it? Uh, question seven. Which member of the Monty Python team was born first? The answer is John what? Cleese. The other Monty Python member, by the way, was Graham Chapman. Graham Chapman! Yeah. Um, I, I just read that, by the way. Is there a bonus question for knowing that John Cleese was born on the 27th of October 1939? Well, there might have been if we uh, had have asked that, but we didn't, so... Well, maybe that might compensate. If someone knows that, that might compensate for me fucking up the royal family one. Yeah, but because we didn't ask that, you can't then, after you've given them the answer, then say if you knew that, because they do know that. Because I hear you. Them. I hear you. I hear yeah. what you're saying. Okay, I'm just using logic. I'm, I hear I'm, what you're saying, but I'm improvising. I'm improvising. <laughs> okay. Question eight. <laughs> Question eight. Question eight. Go on. What was it? Oh, this is my favourite. This is my favourite question. What was the name of the Kenny Everett character famous for the catchphrase? Oh, that's the best possible taste. Cupid stunt. Excellent wordplay. Just play, play around with that. Long before stunt. French Connection was dicking around with the word cunt. Oh, come on. Cupid stunt. That got on the BBC. Yeah. Those yeah. days. Those days are gone. Those yeah. glory days of yeah. that kind of naivety is gone. Shame. Never mind. True. Right, in Shaun of the Dead, what was the name of the pub? The answer, and I and I did I did maybe give you a little hint. <laughs> you think? <laughs> maybe was E. It was the Winchester. Mother of God. So well done if you decoded my code. If you decoded the fact that <laughs> Kerry didn't include it in all and the And they said it was in a different font. Yeah. Okay. I see what I did there. 
I see what you did there. We all do. And it's, I won't do that again. Uh, don't, yeah, don't do that again. Question number 10. What is the name of the character Kerry Goodman played in Derek? Kerry, what was it? Uh, this character in the tabard was called Hannah. Jesus, can you just put that thing away? It's, it's the stuff Hannah. of nightmares, for God's sake. The character was Hannah. Yeah, okay, great. So Which is one this. of those... You've disappeared is from Wi-Fi, name. it's dog What's that word for a... No, no. What's a word that is the same going both directions? Hannah is one of those. Oh, it's... um. Oh, it's... a. Uh... Oh! Right, Sarah, tell us because it's going to bonus do... point for a word. A parallelogram. That... No, it's not. It's a per, per, a per, pan, a panatoni. It's a, a it's a par, par, pan, paraluna, paragliding, para, para, <laughs> paragliding, <laughs> paramedic, paramedic. It's paranormal. It's paranormal. Pa, 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 Thank you. My God, that was going to absolutely send me into a spasm. Okay, great. Palodrome. Yeah, Hannah's a. It wasn't really was scared it? now that I um I swore quite badly and people might have their children um close. Well, if they did, they don't anymore, Kerry. So well, I'd like to say I'm sorry that I swore. Okay. Okay. Uh, Quest, we're on to round three. This is a quiz, master, quiz master's choice. This is music. Kerry, originally for this music round, you were going to play music, weren't you? You yes, were going to play yeah. music and people... I was going to do an intro game. Yeah, but sadly, that's not possible. But after... It's highly illegal, highly illegal. Although <laughs> literally everybody's doing money. it quizzes up and down the country, but it's highly yeah. illegal. Kerry, perhaps you could hum... Uh, okay, I'm going to oh, whistle. I can whistle. But we're going to ask the question and then I'm going to give a little clue by whistling the tune. Okay, so do you want to ask for the first one? Yep, this I cannot wait for. Question number one. What Bob Dylan song was covered by Eric Clapton, Johnny Garcia and Guns N' Roses? Off you go, Kerry. <laughs> Don't make me laugh because I can't whistle if I laugh. I mean, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, that okay. is not question going to help anyone. <laughs> no, that's a clue. That's a clue. Right, question two. Uh, which Beatles studio album did Drive My Car appear on? A whistle, Drive My Car? Okay. Um, that, that, that's not going to help. It's okay. <laughs> not going to help them know what the album is. <laughs> oh, if, if you got anything from that, then. Uh... Okay, I can't wait to whistle question three. Right. Oh, this is like, question three because it's slightly altered because it was it was it was strangely phrased. Hundred percent. I want you to take complete control. Oh, actually, then I can't whistle it. I either right. This is my quandary. I either ask a question that makes sense, and I can't whistle it. Or... Would you want me to whistle it? Yes. All right. Okay. Question three. This um, what put Fat Boy Slim video did a famous what famous actor danced. It shush. What uh, famous actor danced in the Fat Boy Slim 2001 pop video Weapon of Choice? Right, and I whistle it now. Whistle it now. Okay. <laughs> no, you see, you're whistling the the you're whistling the previous. See, now this is a slightly different Fat Boy Slim track. All right. What? What? I uh, but the so but the art. Uh, Okay, you just whistle that one then. Whistle that one. But the, no, the you, actor... I don't know which song you're whistling. You okay, whistle it. I'll whistle the one from that video. I know it sounds a bit like driving my car. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds exactly like well, driving we'll my car. We'll sort this out when we go back and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Right. You ask question four then. David Bowie, Bowie, I don't know what you want to do with that. You choose. Perform the song Under Pressure with which other singer? <laughs> yeah, 
I feel like there you I go. Like that that sounded okay. Good. Great. Um, oh, I can't wait for the next one. Uh, question five: Phil Collins wrote the soundtrack for which Disney film? Phil Collins wrote the soundtrack for which Disney film? And I can say honestly, it's not a great one. The film. No. Got a it's not. One. And I can't no. whistle a single tune for it, which... No, I can't. And I... No. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Sarah is... Sent, um, um, Anna said it sounds like the sound of a sad, <laughs> distant bird. <laughs> a compliment. Um, I think, I, I think I, you, can take that as a, you can take that as a compliment. I think yeah. she, she's enjoying it. Uh, okay. Question six, go on. Question six, didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? Didn't I give you everything a woman possibly can? Are the opening lyrics to which 1968 song? Okay, didn't I'll whistle I it. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? <laughs> oh yeah, you're singing it. You're whistling it well, actually. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only Yeah, I've got, I've got the, um, Oh, I can't remember her name now. What's the, not Aretha, the other woman that sang it. That's the version I've got in my head. Uh, I don't know who else sang it. Dionne Warwick? Oh, I don't know. Janis Joplin, Janis Joplin, that's who I've Oh, Janis up. Joplin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to whistle Janis Joplin. They're not like... They don't... <laughs> This is my new favourite thing. <laughs> that sounds like a much more upbeat bird. I think we'll all agree. Yeah, not a sad right. bird. Uh, okay, number seven. Turn, uh, turn on, tune in, cop out was the hit single for which acid jazz group? Oh, acid jazz. Do you remember acid jazz? Very vaguely. It wasn't what? one of my... Um... What happened to... Oh, did you not get into brand new heavies and all that? No, oh, yeah, maybe. Mother yeah, Earth, Galliano. Huh? Was that acid jazz? That was I acid think... jazz. Jamiroquai. Oh, I liked Jamiroquai. Well, then you were all you, you were hang around that. Ealing Green. Kerry. Oh, no, you froze them. You froze Harry. them. Right. Um, Oh, no, I have just back. spilled red wine your... everywhere. Um, so, um, oh, what a waste! What a bloody waste! Yeah, more worrying is I uh, hope that my girlfriend doesn't need that work. <laughs> <laughs> right, I really like my next question. Yeah, because it's hard. Are you ready? Question eight it by a tribe called Quest samples five songs. Name any of them for one point. Oh, blimey. Yeah, man. I mean, one of them is really easy. Can uh, I kick it by a tribe called Quest samples five songs? Name any of them for one point. Oh, yeah. I don't think you should. I think you should get a half a point for the obvious one and then a bonus point for all the other four, which is well, amazing. You'll be lucky. Shall I whistle it? What, all four? Shall all I whistle five of them? Shall I whistle? Can I kick it? I think we that was like a call and answer yeah can we create okay. the call and answer vibe um, of that track um just gonna quickly call my other half and tell um, you to spill wine well she's gonna have to bring on something up um <laughs> is I, there an interval shortly uh, is there an interval shortly can We've yeah, got the brain next. We got the brain next. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Right, so, question nine. Question nine. What album did Waterfalls by TLC appear on? Oh. Don't <laughs> go. <laughs> yes. Name the album. And you do question 10. What colour is the car on the artwork for Blur's song, Spurs single rather, song two? What is the colour of the car on the artwork for that single, song two? Would you have got that? Yeah, I would actually, yeah. Would you? Would have got that. Yeah. 
such I a think line somebody wants tip. us to repeat question eight, Kerry. Do you want to repeat that? Question eight, right. Can I kick it by a tribe called Quest samples five songs? If you can name any of them, you get points. So one point per song. I think basically people will get two. Yeah. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have I don't think people will get five. No. I wouldn't get the others. I'd get two. But what we've learned so far is that you oh, come on then. people. Come on. What? You 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 can what? be quite patronizing to what people know. Well, I, I just want to feed back some information to you here. Um few people only got four out of ten for the comedy round. So and uh, let's be honest, we gave away the answer to at least one of those questions. So <laughs> Okay, I think you're kinder. Right, we're going to do okay. the answers, then we're going to introduce a round, then we're going to go for a break so that I can clear up a lot of red wine. <laughs> it's currently staining a white table, and I am in oh, trouble God. with my other half because this, <laughs> this is her side of the study. My can side. we live stream your row? <laughs> I think we will be live streaming a row. When, oh, I, I, I literally haven't gone a message. I haven't gone a day without spilling wine. Well, not one day. I don't think you're alone with that. Oh my! I never God, finish a glass of wine. All of it. It was pretty. It's all gone. Oh shit. Yeah. Anyway, let's just. Okay, the answers. Round three. Question one. What Bob Dylan song was covered by Eric Clapton, Johnny Garcia, and Guns N' Roses? Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Uh, question two. Which Beatles studio album did Drive My Car appear on? Beep, 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 beep. <coughs> That's a bit in the song. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Uh -huh. Tell my jib, but you put up a jib. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not a bit big race. <laughs> I think, okay, Sarah's saying, I think a few people missed question. Oh. I think a few people missed question. Please repeat questions nine and 10 as well. I think a few and people missed questions six and seven. Six Come and seven. on you, what the effing what? Right, question six. Okay, now maybe run through them all briefly. Gee, what, I mean, God, we did whistles and everything. I know, I think that might have been the reason why people had no idea what the bloody hell's going on, to be fair. So let's run them all very briefly. Question number six. Question. You keep breaking up because your Wi-Fi is... For two. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? I'll do it. Question six. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? Didn't I give you everything a woman possibly can? Are the opening lyrics you to which 1968 song? Think about it. To which 1968 song? Na, 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 na. That's the clue. Question number seven. Kerry, are you there? Kerry Godley man. Yes. Question seven. Can right. you hear me? Uh, yeah, but you keep freezing. But yes, okay. in the break, I'm going to tell everyone to get off the internet. Right. Question seven. Turn on, tune in, cop out was the hit single for which acid jazz group? Turn on, tune in, and cop out was the hit single for which acid jazz group? Um, questions nine and ten, or should we just do question eight as well, just in case? Can I kick it by a tribe called Quest? Samples five songs. Name any of them for a point. Okay, that's question, question eight. nine. What album did Waterfalls by TLC appear on? <laughs> well, I think what we've learned is that the whistling doesn't help. Okay, sure. Okay. And final question is number 10. What colour is the car on the artwork for Blur single Song 2? Okay. Can you Not whistle that. Song 2 just for my entertainment? I can't remember it. How does it go? Yeah, that is right. tricky. 
Okay, let's just do the answers. I'm sorry that this is, um, we're doing this quite quickly. Uh, okay. Well, we're not really, it's dragged on for days, but- um, Well, Bob Dylan, the Bob Dylan one we answered, knocking on heaven's door was the answer to question one. Have we done that? Yeah, we did it. We did it. Oh, oh we've done that. So people know that. Right, okay. Yeah. Question one, knocking on heaven's door. You and question, that. do you want me to do question two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, question two, which Beatles studio album did Drive My Car appear on before Kerry starts whistling, it's Rubber Soul? Uh, question three, the 90s song lyrics. Uh, oh, no, that was the other one. So the Fat Boy Sling, uh, famous actor in the video, is Christopher Walken, where he dances all across the room, across the ceiling. There we are, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. I actually forgot the question and uh, lost interest. It was the Fat Boy Slim video. Right. I, I mean, good, great. Question four: uh, David Bowie, Bowie performed the song "Under Pressure" with what other singer? It was Freddie Mercury. I whistled that quite successfully. I think. I think a lot of people would have got that. Somebody's asked us to whistle at their wedding, so. I think Who says there's no light at the end of the tunnel? That feels like a very long dark tunnel, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, question five. Phil Collins wrote the soundtrack for which Disney film? The answer is Tarzan. I mean, no one very forgettable that. film. Absolutely. Crap, crap cartoon, crap music. Oh. Question number six. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? Didn't I give you everything a woman possibly can? Are the opening lyrics to which 1968 song? Another little piece of my heart now, babe. It's another little piece of my heart. Very good. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, question seven. Turn on, tune in, cop out was the hit single for which acid jazz group? And the answer was Freak Power. Okay, question number eight, can I kick it by a tribe called Quest, samples five songs, name any of them for one point. Uh, let's share these, Kerry. So you could, if you got Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed, you'd get a point. Yeah, or if you got What a Waste by Ian Jury and the Blockheads, you get a point. Or if you got Spinning Wheel by Dr. Lonnie Smith, you'd get a or point. Or Dance of the Nights by Sergei Provig. Proviv. Well, we don't even know, so no. good luck with that. Or E, uh, or the last one, Sun Shower by Dr. Buzzard's original Savannah Band. I mean, literally, I was just expecting you to get Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed, so if you got that, you're a winner. Yep. Question nine, what album did Waterfalls by TLC appear on? The answer is sex, uh, Crazy Sexy Cool. Easy, sexy, cool. And the colour of the artwork for Blur's single, the car, rather, is yellow. And that's the answer to question 10. So um, that is the end of the Quizmaster's Choice. We We're also want to encourage people to make a donation to the Just Giving page uh, to win the champagne and other lovely, exciting prizes. Okay, so before, we, before you go, we're going to have a little break now. Um, we, there's prizes, there's magnum of champagne, there's other prizes, we are included, I'm going to include a copy of my book, I don't know if that is an incentive or if that's going to put you off actually. Signed, a signed copy. I will be signed, is, whoever oh, you want me to sign it to, I'll sign it to you, and Kerry, please demonstrate what you're going well, to Well, my, my it's downstairs, shall I go and get it? Because now yeah, I'm... Go and get it, go and get it, and then I'll explain what the interactive round is while you're away. Okay, or I'll take you downstairs, I'll take the computer downstairs. So we're going to okay. go like Annika Rice. Do you remember Annika Rice on Treasure Hunt? Yeah, Hall? I do. We're yeah. Like, but yeah. But it's so we'll do it like that. So we're going through my house. It'd be awful if I fell over now and we ended up in A&E. Right? <laughs> and then we're going to go through my house. And look, this is what I'm auctioning, which is my lockdown embroidery project. There you go. Kerry will sign that for I mean, you. Imagine having that in your house. Imagine. Imagine. Um, so... Um, <laughs> So make a donation if you can. I know we're all tight for money, but if you can afford it, make a donation to the Just Giving page to win a magnum of champagne, some embroidery, a book and other stuff. Okay, and we're just about to go for the interactive round where we'd love it if you would tweet um, the bike project, that's at the underscore bike project, a picture of the most ridiculous thing you'd wear instead of a cycling helmet. Kerry, what would you wear? 
I wear my embroidery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kerry, you're so funny. So yeah, so tweet photos, and then we'll have a look at them, and then we'll we'll pick Kerry and I will pick the best one. All right. So let's have a break. We'll call it the red wine break, so that you can get <laughs> we'll it call it the clean up the red wine break. <laughs> oh, can people donate to live stream your row with Chloe now? Yeah, we'll. That's that's everything's on the table. Everything's on the table. Um, and what does it say? All information is in the description and chat box. Okay. Um, there'll be prizes. Donate. They're going to pick a winner at random. Uh, and if we can raise a certain amount, we could live No, right, Sarah, I'm not doing that. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes. do we just go? What do we do? We go. Are oh, we going? Bye-bye. You don't log off, though, do you? Oh, okay. I don't know what we do. Do we just go? We'll Sarah, what do we do? Sarah will manage it. No, we'll go to a break screen. Sarah, you. Of course we will. Um, I don't know how to make my Wi-Fi more stable. Does it keep dropping out? Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Are we, where are we? Are we, are we still live? It feels like no, we are. No, 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 no. All right, I've got to clear this up. It's an absolute state. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, dead. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up.
I don't know where my glasses are. Hello. Hi, I forgot. I don't know where my glasses are. This is great. How did it go? How did it go with Chloe? Well, she hasn't seen. She hasn't seen. Did it? Did mess. you make? I mean, have you cleared it up? So I'm. For now, until she sees it, I'm actually okay. Well, do you know what? I'm gonna have to read it like this. I can do that. I don't need my glasses. I don't need to see you. Fine. Right. In fact, this looks better. If anything, Kerry, you look better. What What have you done? Why have you lost your glasses? <laughs> because in a panic, you wouldn't believe there's so much wine everywhere that in an absolute state of panic, I just went, <laughs> and then put my glasses down somewhere and for the life of me I don't I mean like that, there's a real mess over there which I haven't oh, even mate. clean it up I can't it's wet paper documents I can't just I just that that is the nature of spilling what you filled up nice one have you got none you can't even go and no get I, I mean I uh, I have but I mean I'm loath to like I'm just so far away from me, but even then, I think I'm an idiot. Are you I shouldn't. Hiding? Are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I really reach for yeah, it, yeah. Can I see some of the mess? <laughs> well, most of it's in this bin. There you go. Oh shit! You better hope that's not a will or something. I mean, that's <laughs> got, that. All I know is that says something about ices in it. <laughs> something about an invoice i don't know I, I, i'm hoping it's all fine I, i've got a feeling it won't be important pa I mean, it's paperwork it's random paperwork i i so wonder i'm still in a relationship i don't know how she put something here. um so we do the interactive round so we're finding the best thing for you hopefully um people have gone away to find the best thing that they can wear as an alternative to a cycling helmet i cannot wait to see what you have got in store for us um and uh you've sent your photos to uh the bike projects i'm hoping i'm hoping some of you have otherwise this is going to be a very very quick session oh sarah's saying that they have sarah can we see some of these so Moon is now sharing. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's, good. Good. that's oh, gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> also doubles up as a scarf. I like it. Very good. Who was that? Do we know who that was? Who was that, Sarah? Uh uh, do we know who that was? It was. Dr. Claire Taylor, a doctor no less. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to beat that one. What's next? What else have we got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like no. the glasses. Naomi Van. That's a good look. I love Naomi, that's a good puffin, look. The puffin helmet is Richard. Is that Richard. <laughs> oh, Richard, look at your little head. With a face. Oh, great. I like that Richard actually owns that hat. That is his hat. Madness <laughs> hat. Oh yes. Oh yes. A, a keg of beer. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Mate, you're prepared for lockdown. I love it. I'd like to know what beer that was. <laughs> Dan Hopwood. <laughs> Can we see that? <laughs> it's his face. That is brilliant. It's just the face of what? What? Oh my. Oh my God! <laughs> She's got her own PPE. This is brilliant. <laughs> what is that on top? Is that cotton wool? What is I that? I don't. That should not be endorsed. That's a health and safety issue. That one. An actual. What was Anna done? She's got an actual bicycle on her head. And what are the other options? I think Anna's got a few. Can we click on the others? Fragile. Please handle with care. This way, this way up. up. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> is that a condom? <laughs> Prophylactic ha helmet. Oh my God, I hope that's not being... <laughs> <laughs> It looks like she's birthing an actual bike helmet in that picture. <laughs> Jem. Jem, who started, Jem with Mary, who started um, 
he started the charity he's put a watermelon on his head jim actually i think that could work mate <laughs> <laughs> i like the faces of the people pulling just the total I like, yeah, yeah what yeah what, Do you know so what? This is working for me. yeah don't question this this one, oh yeah, we're going back to the birthday. Oh, oh that helmets and <laughs> rambling Robin. That oh, is I a, like that. a that's festival very Glastonbury. Hat. Yeah, that's a festival hat. Classic festival hat. <laughs> oh, so we've got to pick out of all of those. Oh, uh, uh, the condom. Sarah, for, uh, I don't 100%. know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I'm going for the prophylactic. You're going to go for what? The, the condom? Yes, a Johnny. A Johnny on a head. A Johnny on a head. <laughs> because I am 12. A Johnny on because a head. you literally are a child. All um, biggest laughs I've ever had in my life have involved a Johnny on a head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moon has said that's it. The prophylactic has won. <laughs> I mean, I like the way that Kerry said... Kerry said... Prophylactic and Moona just went, yeah, okay, that's it. We've got to move this <laughs> okay. shit along. Oh, You've been we talking too long. It. I thought we were going to discuss it. There was no discussion. Moona's gone, no, that's it. <laughs> because Moona is one that you can't argue with a jolly on. <laughs> what did, what did, what did, who was it again and what have they won? I've forgotten. <laughs> what have they won? Victory. Is it, is it all the, it's the, um, oh, the, the bike project swag. So you'll get, um, and, and you get five bonus points. Can we? Can, can you just remind? Because I've got a, a sieve brain. Well, what? What was the name of the winner? I mean, people are going to be angry about this. I know. I think. I mean, I feel a bit bad now. I was sort of mocking. I mean, about. there was some really creative entries, and then we had someone with a Johnny on their head, and that is, yeah. It was I a know, team entry. I'm really, really pure. Okay. Oh. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm. I'm happy to go with it. So you'll get a swag of uh, gear. Uh, and you can have maybe a couple more winners for three bonus points. Fine. Okay, Jen, you decide. Um, I like, I've forgotten them all now. There's that one with, I like the PPE. That that one can have three points. I like the bloke with the tie around his neck and then the pillow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he, like the kind of, there's some balance involved. Yeah, he can have three points. And uh, Anna, Anna Spear Point was the winner. She had and, the job. And the her. doctor, the cat, because she made me laugh. She can have three points. <laughs> So Anna, you won the swag and five bonus points, which is amazing. <laughs> I don't know what the swag I is. Think what we've all learned is that it's very entertaining to stick a cat or a Johnny on your head in lockdown. Yeah. You really have got to make your own fun. You've got to make, and it's come to this. I mean, there, were, there was a time, wasn't there, like maybe 10 weeks ago, where they said, do you want to see two middle-aged women talking into a laptop? Go, no, thanks, mate, I swear that. <laughs> And then fast forward 10 weeks, go, I'll happily pay for it. Thank you very much. Exactly. And that's all up. Yeah, exactly. There's a video to watch now. We're going to watch a video. You're going to introduce it, Jen. Yes, we've got a video to share with you now. Um, it is um, Ali, who is a recipient of the Bike Project. He received a bike. He also, I think he does do some voluntary work for the Bike Project as well. And he's going to have a little chat with you. It's only a minute long. So here's Ali. I, mean, I was going to do that thing that they do in the news where they just stay with it. Hello, everybody. My name is Ali and I'm volunteer with the Pipe Project. Since I moved to London, before that, I was always in a bus, always lazy, and with not lots of good financial situation. I cannot go out a lot and I don't do everything. Then the bike project, they offer me a bike and it make everything different. It make everything change. And and I changed all my life. After that, I start cycling everywhere, every day. And when they came to London with them, I start doing more cycling and more active. No depressed, no need for jam, no need to spend money. It saves lives and it's everything make you more happy and happy, especially in lockdown time, because I'm still cycling and I'm always happy. I know it's raining, but I will keep cycling. This is why we had our bikes. Enjoy. Have a good day. Brilliant. That was Ali there. 
uh, who uses a bike. He's now able to move around. He's got some agency and that's what this project is all about. It's giving people a bit of independence, a bit of agency, and also it helps to mental health, self-esteem. And also it means we're not reliant, you know, that 37 pounds a week the refugees get they can spend on other things, not just travel. So let us move on for the next round. Okay, Ricardo Lehman, what is a round? Uh, the next round is interactive round. Oh, no, no, we've done that. I'm all over That's this. just that what we did. Test. That was a test. Yeah, all uh, right. Right, round four. This is the bicycle round. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. That Listen, was my bicycle yeah. bell. Do you, do, you, do you have a bike? I do have a bike, actually. Do you get out and about on it? I do get out and about on it. I like, do you remember? Oh, we've got a bike story, a friendship memory. Do we? Do you remember one Edinburgh festival when I oh, rang for you? God's sake. And I yeah. said, Oi. I should have not picked that phone call up. Yes, and I'm so glad you did. And it was quite early in the morning, and I went, Oi, come and meet me at this second hand bike place. And I bought a bike early in the festival and I rode that bike to my gig every day that August and then I sold it at the end of the festival. I don't to this day know why, oh I had to, yeah I remember why. I was like Georgie girl riding through the meadows that month, I yeah. was so happy. Yeah, what happened was Kerry phoned me so I could stand in the queue. Yes. And I said. It was before smartphones. This was what, 2011 or something? Yeah, so I didn't have a smartphone to sit no, and with. I, I had to call you to come and meet me. <laughs> Zoe was like, that's why I don't pick up the phone with Kerry. <laughs> Can you do this? This is really important. I was like, uh, yeah, okay, I'll be there. But you had a lovely time, didn't you? You had a lovely time. No, not time. really. Not really. And guess who hey, didn't well, end up with the bike at the end of that? Lovely bike memory. Okay. So, happy memory there. Okay, bicycle. Right. Round four, the bicyclette round, Kerry. What language is that? French. Is it? Isn't it? Hmm. Bicyclette? No, I think it's a different word. Is it Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Le bicyclette? No, bicyclette is maybe it's Spanish. Hmm. Cyclismo. Well, you're oh, buying yeah, this one, aren't you? Absolutely going down a wormhole again. <laughs> right. Come on. Question one. Right. Uh, Question one, go. Oh, God, here we go. I haven't got my glasses. This is absolutely. Oh, do you want me to do it? You're not no, going to I can do it. I can do it. No, no, I can do it like this. Hang on. Oh, my Can God, far... like Hang on. Hello, hello, with the woman with the ear horn. Just need one of those, um, what are they called? One of those sticks, one of those selfie sticks, and then I'll be able to actually read it. <laughs> right, the penny farthing was the first ever bicycle. What decade was it most popular in? Was it the 1850s? Or 18 to the 1880s, or was it the 1910s? Come on, which was see it? See how multiple choices work now. You need to have them quite close to each other, don't yes, you? Yes, but I did actually specify that when I, yeah, I see it. that. I, I see that. that. Yeah, okay. right. Question two What month is the Tour de France traditionally held in? You think you know the answer, you, you probably do. Yeah, I mean, if I had to guess, I'd have gone I would have guessed that as well. Yeah, yeah. right. Question number three. I hope you're all getting this. We're, we're, we're zipping along at a speed here. That is. I think you can sense that, as opposed to comedy or music, we don't have any strong feelings strong about bikes. Material bicycle. about bikes. No. That anecdote was the best I've got. I've, yeah, I haven't really. Although I do, I am. I'm cycling. Are you? That's my exercise as I go out on the bike. I do love. I do love cycling. I do. Yeah, I've had some lovely cycles. <laughs> That anecdote won't go nowhere, if I'm honest. Question number three. Oh, no, is it your turn? It's your turn. Is it? No, I oh, read... Question number four. France. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What question number... So, oh, what question are we on? Number three? Yes. That was yes. two. Oh, that was two. Three. Question three. Put your glasses on. Oh, I need glasses. What holiday parks are popular with families because there are no cars and everyone is encouraged to travel around on bikes? Well, that have could you be anywhere. It's a very specific park. Uh, holiday. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. Right, I feel a lot better now about my WhatsApp faux pas. Yeah, but to be fair, you've had a couple of those. That's my first one, surely. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd like to say, and I'm a glass down, but I'm not. <laughs> Did you not? I'm a glass down, down, but I didn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> right, question four. How much does an asylum seeking refugee receive per week from the UK government? And answers within three pounds will be accepted. So Jen has already said, so if you are listening, I mean, I didn't give the exact amount, but we're, we're rounding it you up did. or down to the pounds. To the pounds! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Question five. Which cult TV show set in the 80s features a group of children who get around the town of Hawkins on their bikes? Oh, I love that programme, do you? Yeah, I liked it as well. It's very good. And what a cliffhanger. Uh... Are you referring to the last series? Because I haven't seen that. What a lovely show that is. <laughs> Are you saying stop? Not, that's not giving anything away to say cliffhanger, is it? No, you're, you're now scared of speaking. On a you're scared of speaking, which is a problem for a quiz host. If you're so scared of speaking <laughs> for giving away, <laughs> giving away the answers, we're doing... Literally, now, it's kind of like that thing where it's like, it's almost like a Pavlovian response to just give you the answer. <laughs> Question, <laughs> Question six. What was the inaugural year of the 100 mile ride London cycle event? What was the year of the, inaug the inaugural year? What was the inaugural year? <laughs> what was the year of the inaugural year? Year? What was that year? What year did that happen? The inaugural year of the 100 Ride London cycle event. I mean, you almost got that question out, but it still doesn't really make any sense, but fine. Okay, anyone, all right, hang on a second. I can see that we're getting chats on here. Probably, please repeat the questions quickly at the end of this round. Mm. Um, well, that Could was you please repeat question two? Can we can repeat question two? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, what month is the Tour de France traditionally held in? What month? What, what month, month do they have the Tour de France in? What yeah. month? So the Tour de France, let's put it in a conversational style. So, hey, Jen, you know the Tour de France? Yeah. What month is that? Don't say it! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it! Right. Um... I can't read it. What question are we on, Kerry? We're on question seven now. You're going to have seven. to get your glasses. You're like, no, I can't. It's fine. I can, I can muddle through. It's fine. What was the name of the bike pop? What was? What oh my was... god! No, hang on. I, wait. What was it? It's quite hard to know how to. There's a, there's a comma somewhere that I doesn't. I, I'm not happy with. What was the name? What was the name? What was the name? What was the name of the bike? popular with children in the 70s that had a frame mounted gear stick i had one did you yeah oh my god i've been well jealous of you then did it all second hand everything was second hand uh and then we'd get the frame and then we'd do it up i say we i was never involved my brothers would or my dad but i would just stand around going yeah you don't like, see them now do you those bikes you just don't they are crap Really? They're rubbish. Yeah, oh, they're really good. Oh, they were not good bikes. I thought they were good. I like the long helm. Um, also, the handlebars were like that. So if you went down a hill, you know, you and then you'd slip onto the crossbar where the gear stick was, and then you'd be all, all kinds of trouble. Mm. Just reliving a moment there. Okay, health and safety noted. What are we uh, on? Question eight. Question eight. Right. Approx approximately how many bikes? Have the bike project donated? Oh, this is a good question. Oh, is it approximately 2,000, approximately 5,000, or approximately 6,000? Can we be clear? We want an approximation. It doesn't have to be anything other than a You don't have to know the exact amount because that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> the exact What's amount. Opinion, they don't know. Yeah. Approximate. Question number nine. Oh. Donation of how much can provide a refugee with a refurbished bike, safety equipment and training? Answers to within £10 will be accepted. I'll say that again. A donation of how much, how much money, okay, do the bike project need in order to provide a refugee 
with a refurbished bike, safety equipment and training to ride that bicycle. How much did the bike project need? Do you imagine? Can you fathom? Do you think? Do you sense? Do you know? Yeah, knowing is key, isn't it? It's a quiz. Knowing is key to this, actually. Yeah, you're right. Question 10. Is this true or false? This is my favourite kind of question. You've got a 50-50 chance 50 -50. of getting it right. True or false, there are more bicycles in the world than there are cars. I mean, come on, that just seems obvious. True or false, true or false, true or I mean, false. I'm, I Let's already know the answer to that. I mean, I'm reading it, but also I do know. We give away. I do that. Right, are we going to have to reread those? Yes. Now, uh, Sarah has is given us some... Um, some feedback. Can you please run through all of the questions again? A few people asked for different ones to be repeated. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to go through them. Uh, bike round. Question one. The penny farthing was the first ever bicycle. What decade was it most popular in? The 1850s, the 1880s or the 1910s? So the penny farthing was popular in which decade? The 1850s, the 1880s or the 1910s? Go on, Magoo. That's let's see you read this one. I can and I will. <laughs> you will be amazed. Go on. Which <laughs> is the month? <laughs> Go on. What is the month that the Tour de France traditionally be held in? What? <laughs> what? What, what is the month? No, there is no there. What month is flipping it? I need my glasses. The light is the light is failing. Yeah, it's the light, is it? What what month is the Tour de France traditionally held in? You see, it's got a light three. on it. You can see it. I oh, see. well, that's what it was then. The light. It was the light. It wasn't my eyesight. Right. Uh, question three. What holiday parks are popular with families because there's no cars and everyone is encouraged to travel around on bikes? And I will allow the faux pas that Jen made because the word parks is in the question. There we are. So was it a faux pas? It actually wasn't. I'm just repeating. No, it wasn't. The clues question. in the question. Say what you see. Say what you see. Say what you see. Don't get that. Then what's the point? Hey, hey. Question number four. How much does an asylum-seeking refugee you're going to have to get your glasses. Per right? week. I can get this from the UK. <laughs> Government. <laughs> Why don't I hold up my glasses and you read? Do you know what? Actually, that would work better. <laughs> you read that out. I actually do. Okay. Need that. How much does an asylum seeking refugee receive per week from the UK government? Answers within three pounds will be accepted. How much does an asylum seeking refugee receive per week from the UK government? And, I, and remember, I did say that. I did. You did say that. You yes. said it back to mine. But answers within three pounds will be accepted. OK, I know that I can see. I, I know that. Well, this is the one that I said before. So I remember this. So now to question number five, which um, uh, which cult, uh, which cult TV show set in the 80s? features a group of children who get around the town of Hawkins on their bikes. What was that? It was my mum texting me about watching Dating Amber on Amazon Prime. Okay. Any strong feelings about that? No, I haven't seen that. Um, what did I just watch on Amazon Prime? I watched Little Fires Everywhere. Oh, is that good? Yes, actually quite pertinent to the time which we are going oh, through at the moment, that. all the protests and whatnot. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to be reductive and just go, oh, you know, what not. But that that has been, can't take that back now. Uh, yeah, no, I can recommend that. I am actually also watching Chernobyl. Have you seen that? Very no, happy. I haven't. Absolute, uh, real mood lifter. Yeah, I mean. Do, do, do try the soundtrack out. Oh, God. I'm trying to look for things to cheer myself up. Don't watch I just think Chernobyl. Chernobyl was going to do it. No, it's it, not, it, not a rom-com, is it? No, it's pretty, as rom-coms go, it's, it's, I mean, if you like a rom-com where people's skin's peeling off, it's definitely okay. the one I don't fancy it. I'm just not in the mood at the moment. Right. Okay, question six. What was the inaugural year of the 100 mile ride London cycle event? That, you said it that time. Why did I not say it last time? 
you just said something that you said words that made almost sense but okay so I'll, we'll do it in a role play way again so Jen yeah you know the 100 ride London cycle event you know the 100 ride London cycle event it's the 100 mile ride cycle event <laughs> Jen Jen yeah Jen, you yeah. know the 100 mile ride London cycle event yeah what was the inaugural year there we go just got to turn it into a role yeah, play. Yeah, you've got to turn it into, yeah. You can currently manage role it into role play. Did you do that theatre and education? Did you, did you do that? Yes. Uh, yes. You did. Yeah. yeah. I never did that. Well, it shows. Sure. Bye. What was the name? No, that's not the question. Yeah. What is the question? Yes, it is the question. Oh, what God. was the name of the bike, popular with children in the 70s, that had a frame mounted gear stick. Let's remember the visual image of me going down a hill, falling onto the crossbar, onto that gear stick. Quite happy with that, that helps. But some That's of you good. would have had that bicycle, remember it, good, good old days, hey? Good, good old days in the 80s, 70s, when that was a popular bicyclette. I think they're great. I think they should come back. Right, question eight, approximately, key phrase, approximately. How many bikes have the bike project donated? Is it approximately 2,000? Is it approximately 5,000? Or is it approximately 6,000? Do you know what? I'm glad you read that out because I see that as an eight. Well, that's because you haven't got your glasses on. I know, I see that now. Good. Question number nine, a donation of how much can provide refugee with a refurbished bike, safety, with a refurbished bike. You're just like it, scatting, you're just scatting now. <laughs> What's, what? You're scatting on. words. You know what scatting is? Oh, I no, see. Donation, refugee, refurbished, like there's punctuation in there. I can't the glasses. Can you read that question out? Because right, I question can't... nine: a donation of how much can provide a refugee with a refurbished bike, right, safety fine. equipment, okay. and training? A donation of how much can provide a refugee with a refurbished bike, yes. safety equipment, and training? Answers to within ten pounds will be accepted. My, my eyes are hurting. Okay, I'll your glasses. And I'll there your is. Glasses. I will. We'll just do this last one because it's an easy one. Question number ten: uh, True or false? Um, there are many bicycles in the world. No, there aren't. There are more bicycles in the world than cars. Is that a factual fact or is that an incorrect fact? Or, or true or false, otherwise known as true or false. Sure. <laughs> I've, got to get my, I've got to get my glasses. I'm not going forward with this until you get your glasses on. I, I, I know, but I've, I've just said I'm going to get my glasses, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> Round five. Round five. Should we start this without her? It's nice and quiet. Uh, is there anything I'm meant to do? Any admin or housekeeping? No. Round five is general knowledge. Okay. Uh, general. I feel weird without her. <laughs> She's just gone. Right. Round five, general knowledge. Question one. How much? Hi. Hi. God, that was... You found them. We've moved oh, on to round five. We're on oh. round five. Uh, just giving page. Right, let's zip through this because we've been here for days and everyone's right. like... I just want to mention the just giving page. Huh? Just, just giving, just giving. Yeah, so for those of you that maybe haven't donated, please go to the just giving page, donate what you can afford. We want to try to get to six grand if we can. We can get to six thousand. Not... I mean, this from the, not from just tonight, because that would be madness. There's been another quiz show, but if we amalgamate the two sums, we could come get to six grand, and that would be incredible. That would be good. And right, uh, I had already started without you. Round five, general knowledge. I started. Question one: How much is the purchase? How much is the purchase price? How much is the purchase price of the old Kent Road in the London version of Monopoly? I remember that because I always used to get that Ooh, area. White I know what colour it is. Old I used to live right off the old Kent Road. Oh, did you? Yes. I used to oh, live... Not road. Where did I... I used to live in Bethnal Green. Oh, but that's East London, isn't that, it? Yeah, but it's not really near. Uh, no. New Cross. New Cross. Yeah, I was north, you were south. Yeah. So... Yeah. 
Um, how much is the old Kent Road in Monopoly? Cheap. I mean, it has gone up though since. It's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. In Monopoly. Question number two, in which US city? This oh, we haven't done the answers for round four. Holy crap sticks. Oh, bloody hell, Jen. Really embarrassing oh, for us. Okay, sorry. Round four. Sorry, we can do this now. <laughs> Go. The penny farthing was the first ever bicycle. What decade was it most popular in? The answer is the 1880s. Get in. Question number two. What month is the Tour de France traditionally held in? It's July. Correct. There we are. Okay, question three. What holiday parks are popular with families because there's no cars and everyone's encouraged to travel around on bikes. Centre parks. Centre parks, centre parks. Centre. Centre parks. Okay. Parks with a C, not a five-pointed Scrabble kicking K. No. How, question number four, how much does an asylum-seeking refugee receive per week from the UK government? Answers within three pounds will be accepted. Uh, £37.75. So any our acceptable answers between £34.75 and £40.75 will be accepted. I did tell you it was £37. So you should all have that question. Look at, look, look at what like, you have in your glasses on has done to the whole pace of this quiz. It's really skipping along now that you can see. Right, question five. Which cult TV show set in the 1980s features a group of children who get around the town of Hawkins on their bikes? Do you want me to do the music? Yeah, that doesn't sound anything like it. It was Stranger Things. Things. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah. Question six. What was the inaugural year of the 100 mile ride London cycle event? Did I say it weirdly again? No, it seemed to make sense this time. 2013. 2013. That's the answer. Favorite question of this particular round. What was the name of the bike popular with children in the 1900s that had a frame mounted gear stick? What was it, Kerry? Chopper. Yeah. And used to say chopper. On your chopper, so. Well, classic branding, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they were ahead of the game. I mean, a rally said rally, and all bikes have got their branding written on them. Sure, but I mean, who remembers those bikes? Nobody. Okay. Everyone, everyone all right. Um, question eight. Approximately, remember, approximately, how many bikes has the bike project donated? The answer is approximately six thousand. Approximately, not eight thousand. Okay, and that's two that's, or five. That's not right. So don't say that. Why would you even think that? Put your glasses on. For God's sake. That's a lot of bloody bikes, mate. In it. Good work. Yeah. That's what I say. A donation. No, question number nine. A donation of how much can provide a refugee with a refurbished bike, safety equipment, and training? Answers to within ten pounds will be accepted. It's one hundred pounds to provide oh the bike, and the safety equipment and the training. It's a bloody bargain, basically. A snippet of price, as my granddad would say. A what? A snippet of price. <laughs> Sniff or a slip? No, snip. A snip at a price. It snip might be a a price. The Yorkshire okay. saying. A snip at a price. Right. That's your classic Yorkshire accent, is it? A snip at a price, which means a bargain. I don't know why I'm doing this weird. I don't. A snip at a price. <laughs> also, I don't know why you're saying Yorkshire while you're saying a snip at a price. Snip at a price. Snip at a price. You, no. say, you tell me a bike's 100. How much is that bike? Aye. Well, it's a snip at a price. A snip at a price. There you go. Right, okay. Right. Uh, question 10, true or false? 50-50 chance of getting this right. Uh, there are more bicycles in the world than cars. That's true. There are. Of course. How would you think that it's not? Bicycles are small, aren't they? Cars are big. So. <laughs> well, we've got. We've got one car, but we've got a lot of bikes. There you you got go. two there's, bikes. There's, there's your logic right there, mate. There you go. Okay, that's how you approached your answer. Yeah, that's how and, I did. And uh, it was a 50 50. I was correct. So yeah, you, you want to. Okay, round five general knowledge. We've already done question one. How much is the old Kent Road worth in, uh, in Monopoly? It's near. No, I nearly said the answer. It in is a surprise. Yeah, it is a, a snipper surprise. <laughs>
<laughs> Question number two. In which US city was the sitcom Frasier? Frasier? As how in English Frasier? Is that? Frasier? In which, in, sorry, in which US city or Frasier. was the sitcom Frasier set? Sexual menstruation. Do you say issues? Issues. Do you it's say sexual? Sexual. I say se homosex homosexual issues in <laughs> in Frasier. In in Frasier. Some, I like that 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 sound when somebody says an S and they go sibilance. Sibilance. Sexual. Like Jenny Murray. Uh-huh. Right. Question three. Which is taller? Oh, it's another one of those 50 50 ones. Mm -hmm. Which is taller, Westminster Abbey or St Paul's Cathedral? Would you say? Would you say? Would you know, in fact? Which I, is do, I mean, I know. Well, you know because the answer's in front of you, babe. Again, that's that's why. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do we give an extra prize if people know an extra prize? Oh, yeah, well done. Um, oh, what? There's an extra point for what? Well, well if you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh look there's a cathedral question i'd already told sarah i've got a phobia around cathedral questions. yeah there's it's it, i'll give you a clue it's not salisbury cathedral salisbury cathedral this refers to a quiz i did at my kids school some years ago where there was a cathedral round and i just said salisbury cathedral for every single question Which with a view cathedral? Yeah, as the highest, highest one high. would be right but unfortunately well, salisbury cathedral isn't in this question Question number four, put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Are lyrics taken from which 1983 song? I would offer to whistle it, but I feel... No. I don't, well, you could actually, yeah, do. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's really hard. It is really hard. hard no, to be fair, that is... Okay, question five. The internal angles of a triangle will always total how many degrees? This answer has reminded me what the answer is. And I mean that in that, isn't that one of those things that you remember that you just know when you're a kid and then you forget as an adult and just seeing the answers and we're gone, that is the answer. Well, yeah, that and aided by the fact that the answer is in front of you. But yeah, but... I read that answer and it reminded me that it was the answer. Sometimes you read an answer going, well, I didn't know that. I would never have got that. But you would and have I read that again. That's really triggered something back in the but old But you wouldn't have got it without visual aid. No, I wouldn't have got it. No, not on a, not hope now. Well, it's sort of key to quizzes, isn't it? Knowing it. <laughs> not going, oh yeah, that's reminded me that I'd forgotten. It's quite key. Right, question six. Which European country has the longest coastline? Now, this Which... is, this isn't, this, you might not get this. I wouldn't have got that. No, I, I think that's incredible. But I can't. Now I can see why. Now seeing it, I'm like, oh, yeah. When we do the answers, I'll have a yeah, fun fact we'll for you. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss fun that. Fact. We've got a fun fact. You're going you're gonna to like this fun fact. So you wait. If you're still. Is it as good as wait. your um, angles in triangle? Fact. No, because that wasn't a fact, was it? Because it we... was. It was a fact that you'd forgotten and then remembered something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great anecdote. It's a great anecdote. <laughs> Admin, before we I've do the got answer, a feeling that we are literally only amusing ourselves. Okay. Which question? <laughs> Question number seven, which UK high street store, oh, oh, now this is sad. Which UK high street store went into, it went into administration on the 26th of November, 2008. It was, I still miss them. Did, uh, me too. So, but also they've been replaced, but the, mm -hmm. not the same. No, not the same. And also there was one everywhere, every town they had one of these and now we don't have one. And it is, it's a shame. I, I miss them. They I went. miss them. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, question eight. Who wrote the 1886 gothic novella, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Who wrote the 1886 gothic now, novella, Strange Case? In my head, I've got that mixed up with Frankenstein. Don't. Different people. Oh, yeah. Did you? Uh, you see, you did as well. You went, oh, I know that. That's. And then you went, no, that's. that's yes, Frankenstein. you're right. Yeah. yeah I yeah. thought. 
I was yeah. thinking, Frankenstein. Did no. you watch the National Theatre Cumberbatch? That was early on in lockdown. The National Theatre streamed the production. Oh, did they? No. Yes. I, 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 I should, oh, did you watch it? I, I watched the first half. Ha well, hang on a second. Well, you... it, that isn't me being a shit cultural vulture, uh, but the kids were kicking off and they weren't. Uh, and I was like, come on, let's watch a play. And they just... <laughs> <laughs> and they just knobbed off. Yeah, okay, but fair enough. Do my best. Um, question number nine, which actress played Professor Pomona? Is it Pomona? Is that her name? Pomona. Professor Pomona Sprout in the Harry Potter films. Is her name Pomona? I don't think it's Looks Pomona. Like it, Pomona. Well, I'm reading Pomona, but I'm yeah, I'd say Sarah's saying it is Pomona. Why are you questioning me? Okay, yeah. I'm just I think right. I, I question think ten. The Marina Trench is the deepest location on Earth and it lies within which ocean? The Marina Trench mm -hmm. is the deepest location on Earth and it lies within which ocean? Right, we're going to have to go through those all again quickly before we give answers, do we? I don't know, let's just check. Sarah's saying, before we do the answers for round five, right, okay. So, You know what we do, oh right, okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay, so before we do the answers, can let me just read that again. Sorry, I've got absolute. No, that was a brilliant maybe. example of someone who thinks they can style out an inter internal monologue. Listen, and, I, I'm not. And then you were like, I can't. No, listen. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to do a prize draw during the answers. Actually, so this is a fight. This is, ladies and gentlemen, what this is is going to be is a very long-winded final call. <laughs> To make a donation, make a donation to the bike project. This is your last call. We want to get to that six grand number. Can we do it? Can you do it? There's all kinds of prizes. Get your get your bits up. Oh, all prizes. I've left my. I've left it down. Hey, to have it to hand. It. Let me go and get it. Hang on. No, don't bother. Chelsea, not worth it. Can you get my embroidery for me? So you can make a donation. Make a donation to uh, the bike project. There's uh, prizes to be won. There's a magnum of champagne as well. Uh, there's uh, you're doing something nice and kind. I know we're all scared. Oh, to go okay. get it. A couple of quid. Chuck it at us. We'd love it. Um, we're going to do a prize draw during the answers. Okay, so this is the final call to make your donations. He's to down the there. It's on the table. Oh Jesus. Okay. Well, I was trying it's to. Fine. Keep something. Fine. It's all under control. Yeah, it really feels it. Great. So let's do answers for round five. Okay, answers. Right. Hang on. I've got my embroidery. Here we are. It's, well, we've gone. We've, we've passed that. that. It, we're not this doing that now. Oh. So now you, you poor Elsie's now hostage. Yeah, Elsie's in it. Yeah. Elsie, do you want to really help us read the answers out? Yeah, read uh, these answers. Okay. Okay, so yeah, how on. much is the purchase uh, price of the old Kent Road in the London version of Monopoly? And the uh, answer is sixty pounds. Sixty pounds. There she is. Okay. That's why she's you read here. the next one, Jen, and Elsie will read the answer. Right, Elsie, you've got to read the answer to this. In number two, in which US city was the sitcom Frasier set? Uh Seattle. Is that Seattle? Seattle. Seattle. Oh, God. Seattle. Seattle. That's all right. The rainy city. Right. Uh, question three. Which is taller, Westminster Abbey or St Paul's Cathedral? The answer is? St Paul's Cathedral. It's 365 feet. Oh. Tall. Kerry, I think we were supposed to read the questions again. Were we? Weren't we? Oh, right. They're asking, can Elsie read the questions again for us? <laughs> do, do, do we need to read, does any, right, Sarah, find out, do people, because Elsie can help us read us, do we, read us, read them, read it, do we need to read these questions again, or no, don't worry, do we don't worry, not to worry, let's get the, let's get the, get the chat to our, let's get, hmm. right, we're going to keep reading, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, so, okay. answers, right, question four, put on your red shoes and dance the blues, are the lyrics taken from which 1983 song? Uh, let's dance David Bowie. Let's dance David Bowie. You stand quite firmly on Bowie versus Bowie, don't you? Yeah, we, I've very much been straddling Bowie Bowie, just saying Bowie Bowie. Bowie. Oh yeah, um, yeah, everyone said it's Bowie. Bowie, she's been reliably informed. Okay, I, I trust Elsie, I don't know anything. Right. <laughs> Elsie, you always need to know. Zoe Bowie. Huh? 
His daughter is called Zoe. Zoe, Zoe Bowie. Bowie. So you wouldn't say Zoe Bowie or Zowie Bowie. It's Zoe Bowie, Zoe Bowie. Okay, I feel, all right, I feel good about that. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. About that. Right. Question five. The internal angle. Wait, Kerry. Triangle will always. Elfie doesn't need to read spot. this answer. She'll know it. Okay. Well, let's see if she knows it. I don't know. Okay. The internal angles. I've somewhere. got. I've got my thumb over it. The internal angles of a triangle will always total how many degrees? Oh, 100. Pardon? 180 degrees. That's how good I am at homeschooling. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't accept that you have anything to do with that, Kerry. Godwin. No, I have not been homeschooling Elsie. She's been doing it very much on her own. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I, that's my feeling. <laughs> right, question six. Which European country has the longest coastline, Elsie? Uh, Norway. 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 It's because of all those fjords. It's because it's all got those weavy bits. <laughs> no, the fjord. No, it's the coastline. It's got nothing. Yeah, the coastline, but it goes in and out and in and out, and it's all really don't don't <laughs> start. It go. It's got all, all right. those bits that come in. Yeah. So I I don't think you should do anymore now. I think you. Should I think stop. I'm really good I, at geography. I was going to give you a fun fact. Do you want to hear the fun fact? Go on. Right. Fun fact is. Uh, that the length of Norway is the equivalent of flying from London to Rome. Is that true? Fact. Yeah, that's a fun you fact. Do. You could take yeah. that with you. You happy with that? Yeah. As a fact? I mean, <sighs> always learning. Love you, that fact. Elsie, right. you, Elsie's like, I can't believe people are watching this. <laughs> she well, into it. She's into it. You missed the Stranger Things question. She likes Stranger Things. Oh, she's modeling Stranger Things. herself on one of the kids in Stranger Things. <laughs> right. Um, which UK high street store went into administration on the 26th of November 2008? Woolworths. 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 You just said, what is that? When she was a baby, I used to buy her baby vests in there. What is that? I know, it's an absolute shocker. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Hang on a second. It sold everything, it sold everything. Oh, wait a second, Elsie was born in 2008, wasn't she, or 2007? She was born in 2008, in February, and I remember... Why would she know about... Hello, Frank. Why would she know about... Um, you know. Frank, do you want to help us read? No, because I'm really bad at reading. No, you're good at reading. Question really? eight, who wrote... Who wrote the 1886 gothic novel Strange Case in Dr. Jail? Jekyll. Jekyll. And Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde. Who wrote Frank, Dr. you've nailed it. Totally smashed it. I Who smashed wrote it? it? This guy. I don't remember him. Go on. Didn't he, um, what else did he write that I know him in? I just. Treasure Island. Treasure Island, that's it, because he did that. Well, he hasn't said his name. We just started chatting. No, but I'm liking this. I like the backstory. Okay. But it's like he, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is about like Dr. Jekyll was a scientist and when he drinks this potion he made, doesn't he turns into a mad a madman and they call him um, Mr. Hyde and he just walks around at night and everybody thinks this mass murder is going around, but nobody actually knows it's him. And Frank, uh, that is the story. That is it. He's totally That is it, you've nailed it. And he was written by <sighs> Should I say it? Yeah. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Robert Stevenson. Stevenson! And you're right, we were getting it mixed up with Frankenstein, but that's different. No, yeah, that. I was thinking of Mary Shelley. I've got it oh, you'll like this one. Read the next one, Jen. Which okay. I, you read this, the answer. It's quite hard to pronounce the, the, the name, though. Do you want to read the, do you want to read the question, Frank? You read the question. Which actress played Professor P Pomona? Pomona Sprout the Harry in the, in the Harry Potter films. Yeah. That? Professor Pomona Sprout in the Harry Potter films. Do you remember she was the one that did all the... Elsie, you know in the Harry Potters, you know the, um, the, the woman who plays... The, what, who's the actress who plays the woman who pulls out both flowers? Who pulls out the and plants and then the sprouts are like alive oh, in the... actual name? Like, yeah, the, the actress. The actress. Oh, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Also, is is Frank? Can I ask you a quick question? Is her name Pomona Sprout? What? 
Have you seen you've seen the Harry Potter films? Yeah, but I have. He can't remember. No. Okay, fine, fine. That's right. Anyway, the actress was Miriam Margulies. Miriam Margulies. Right, question 10. Last one, okay? Oh, gone, like, Don't worry about that. Right, question so 10. <laughs> question 10. Quizmaster. Read that. The Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench. Mariana, that's how it's pronounced. Okay. The deepest no, it, right? on Earth lies within what ocean? I Which know. ocean? Yeah? What it's is it? It's the Pacific Ocean. Homeschooling, yeah. mate. Homeschooling <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> Frank, what? Bring him back. He's the bag. Frank, don't just drop the mic and walk out. It literally, boom. Okay, so that's it. So that was the I'm end of that I'm going through Castaway, so shh. He's watching Castaway. Oh, that's the one with the ball. What was the ball called? Oh, what was the ball called? Cliff? What was the ball called in Castaway? Wilson. 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 Sarah says Wilson. Right, we're now just having a Zoom chat and forgotten that we're hosting a quiz. This right, okay. So that's the end of the quiz. So, Sarah, let's see how people got on and find out the winning team before we announce our prize winner. Let's find out <laughs> the winning team before we announce the prize winner. <laughs> hey, Kerry, this is the perfect time to start whistling again. Um, Come and whistle with me, Al. <laughs> you know when you said to me, um, you're, that you're finding that Al doesn't want to spend time with you in public, and you were like, I, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Uh, I can see I'm that. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. It's Just a very slight thing. Okay, so we've got 31. <laughs> Alison's got 31 out of 50. Alison, that seems like a very respectable score. Totally, Ooh. no one's judging that. That's no, not. that's a great score. 39 for Professor Quiz Witty. Wow. Wow. That's a good score. Do you think that's his real name? I want to know what Jennifer did, because she got 10 out of 10 for the first round. 26 out of 50 for Mar Marsha. Don't you dare feel bad about that. That's a respectable... <laughs> There's absolutely that's no faith in that. That's over half. Over half. 43. 40. Joe, get oh, out! Joe Bell. Jo Bell's all over it. Joe, come on. Well, so I'm got... worried that Professor Quiz Witty has got that name and he's what? falling short of Joe Bell, who's got a, a normal It's a bit name. hard when you put... In... 33. 33 from Anthony. 39 from Sarah White. Very good. These are all very good scores. 36, 36 from Nolan. These are good. <laughs> and 28 from Nicola. I've got to think, are we now just reading scores out, Sarah? Is that what we're doing? We, I can. And any, any, any bars is 43, 43 is what we want to know. Because we've got Joe Bell in the lead. 43. No, not yet. Someone Sarah's like, that. yes, this is Two. your job. Read these out. scores, you knob end. Marsha said, I feel good. Right. 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 Oh, Quizzy Quizzy Rascal. Rascal. <laughs> 39 out of 50. Joe, Joe, you look like you're the winner at the moment. Joe, Joe now looks like no advances on we're 43. Not. Anyone close to 43? Of course, at the moment, Joe, you are winning glory and honour and glory. Hey, man, that is good. And honour. I've run out of... <gasps> is that your phone? Oh, look, right, teenager on the phone. Got to go. Got to go. Shall we announce the champagne and embroidery winner? Also the book yes! winner, Sarah. Also the book winner. Okay, I don't just make it about what the about bloody embroidery. embroidery. Can I just say it took me a lot longer to write the book than it did for Kerry to make whatever the hell that is. Yeah, right? I know. But, it's yeah, like yeah, apologising now, Sarah. This Too late. It's a different art form. Also, can I just point out there will be a wine stain on the book, so just deal with that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a wine stain on the embroidery. It's not. It's not. It's not my book unless there's a red wine stain on it. There we go. Um, so, uh, Kerry, are you going to sign that? Yeah. Craig. Craig has, Craig has won it. How has Craig, Craig won it? He donated at 845 and they're going to be in touch with him tomorrow about how Craig, he's, you he's have had. won. You've won. What, what's Craig won? You've won that. I don't know which way it's going to be for you. You've won that. You won a magnum of champagne. You've won. No, what? 
Now we're saying Robin Stevens. Robin Stevens got 46. Oh. Sarah very, and Sarah's very kindly prefixed book from Jen with Orson. Okay. All is forgiven, Sarah. All is forgiven. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Robin, congratulations. Robin, Robin, Robin Stevens. 46. You got 46 out of 50. You took my advice very early on. You did a little Google. Good for you. No, I'm kidding. Of course you didn't. You got 46 out of 50 because you had the knowledge. Congratulations. Uh, Kerry and I will, what do we do now? How many did we give away, do you reckon, all together? About four? I think we gave away at least four. Yeah, at least so, four. I mean, you know. Uh, Including gift aid, Kerry? We raised £6,000. That is pretty amazing. Not just from tonight, though. That's like two. Yeah, I know. All right, don't piss on my chips that's like i'm saying it's amazing it is amazing i thought it was that alone i thought it was that alone that raised six grand <laughs> they'd have liked it on art club if i'd sent that to grace and perry they fucking loved it yeah it would never have got on anyway <laughs> listen this is been... <laughs> thank you to everyone that's taking part this evening we love all of you you're wonderful hu humans to first put up i'm really the... sorry for the the bants i'm sorry that You've had to endure Kelly, me and shush. Jen. No, shush. That's not what you say. You say, um, you. this is like at the end of a gig when you're not sure if it's gone well, where you go. Oh, well, yeah, because we're just doing this to silence. It's silence. Kelly, I mean, this is like an anxiety dream. Fuck me. Just some kind of professionalism. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, we're very delighted that you came. Do find out more about the bike project. You can go online, find out about them. They're doing amazing work. They're helping people that have no help have no one in this country to help them other than fantastic charities like the bike project thank you we hope that you're surviving lockdown kerry godlyman is Jen Brister, Shri Vogue. let's go thank you jen and kerry <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're doing how do we end this? Voguing. We just go? You know you know by voguing. do we just go do we just leave we just say bye Sarah said, just say bye. Go. Bye then. Bye. 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 bye, -bye.